name is Yogi Sharma. In my last video, I explained that how we can perform the deletion operation in your uh, grid view control. Here, I am going to tell you that how I can update grid view control. Okay, so perform this. I just created a update uh, stored procedure. Let me show you that the uh, update procedure. You can see here the update procedure. Okay. This one is the update procedure where I am taking four fields ID, at the rate ID, at the rate name, father name, and salary. And a very simple update query where I am updating some records. Okay. And go to the Visual Studio. Now, let me show you that uh, how I can update edit the grid view. Okay. Go to the view, click on edit columns. In edit columns, you have a command field that is the edit update cancel. Edit after addition, you can change the header text. Addition, okay. Now, addition has been added. Then, what is the mean of addition? By click on addition the edit item template should be opened to perform this i am taking the edit item template of column 0 you can see i am i have taken level 5 and in this level 5 i am binding with the database table field you can see here edit data binding and you can see here the id okay cancel it i have done already go to the second column that one is the username in this username i am taking the edit item template here you can see i have taken text box in this text box i am just bind it with the another database field name that is the name okay fine come to the another column you can see that is the father name in this father name you can see the edit item template where i have used a text box which is bind with the father name field in the same way I already added the salary edit item template where this text box is bind with the salary field of database table ok you can see it so the what is the thing is that when user will click on edit then the edit item template should be opened so I have to code for this just go to the grid view edit what is the process to edit the option but before it you have a event row editing event in this row editing event you have to write the code to open the edit item template grid view one dot edit index page index sorry I think let me check it that's working or not fill grid method ok now execute it and you can see the result click on edit again click on edit then you can see output if I click on cancel then you can see that row cancelling edit event is firing but I didn't handle it so it's showing some error if I click on this edit, then you will find that the edit option, edit item template of this row has been opened where I can make changes like this. Click on cancel, but it's not worked. So let me create a code for the cancel link button. perform the row editing I am calling the row cancelling edit event in this row editing cancel event I will write the code page index equal to minus one and fill grid save it click on edit click on cancel showing the error it means that I have uh, make uh, some I have done some wrong statement let me change it I will not use the page index I have to use the edit index equal to minus one I didn't put 
the semicolon let me put it okay go to the browser refresh it then you can see the successfully the cancel button is working okay fine now let me create a another event that is the updating event row updating event i will do this so these are some fields where i will do the updations go to the grid view edit select the grid view control go to the properties of grid view control here we have a property of row updating go to the row updating in this row updating you will write the code to update the rows let me take a id label grid view one dot items sorry rows e dot item not e dot item array row index click on find control in this find control we can find the control level 1 level 1 is not level 5 this is my control name dot text in the same way you can create name father name and ok so go to the change this uh, ids i am taking the text box 1 text box 2 and text box 3 ok change the class name also like i have a label in this label i will put text box text box is the class name let me take a text box yeah again I have to change the variable name name and name and salary I have created four fields now go to the SQL command in this SQL command I will pass two things first one is the procedure name and second one is the class name or the connection name here I am using sp underscore update write the procedure name sp underscore update and pass the connection cum go to the command type cmd dot command type equal to command type dot stored procedure cmd dot connection open it will open the connection and cmd int result equal to cmd dot execute non query where i will use the non query where you want to perform insert update delete update this kind of command then we will use the execute non query and i have to pass the parameters sql parameters into the sql command object by using the cmd dot parameters dot add take the SQL parameter first argument is the parameter name and second one is the value in the same way copied it and will I will create SQL parameter for the name father name and salary let me do this name father name and salary ok change the values of id uh, variables name f name and the salary ok so everything is fine let me check the result is uh, right or wrong if result is greater than 0 it means that your record has been inserted successfully if it is not it is zero and then the data is not inserted connection dot close and uh, write some command uh, that 
that is the fill grid command but before fill grid I have to change to edit item index to item index so right now the code grid view one dot edit index equal to minus one or fill grid view in browser then you can see the result click on edit change the value like this 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay then click on update then you can see the result okay in this way you can update or edit your grid view control thanks for watching this video thank you